Where are you right now, Eddie? I am standing outside the uh, Twin Spires right now, Dan. A beautiful picture. I think you should probably bring the uh, bring the crew on the uh, road trip here maybe one weekend. What do you think? I think we're talking about next year that I'm bringing the boys down there for the Derby. But they want to know, right. is it is there a week-long celebration, parties? They need to know, sort of the, the, to set the scene for us. Yeah, well, I think you certainly need to uh, to be uh, well-oiled before you get here. So I think it might be best if you show up on Tuesday or Wednesday of Derby Week. And it is a celebration, there's no doubt. I mean, the... The week and uh, the biggest race that we have here, uh, I mean, really in our country and maybe anywhere in the world. Uh, yeah, you uh, you would have yourself a, a ball. So uh, you know, I know some people. Maybe we can uh, take care of you like and uh, get every get everybody here next year. Uh, how did you become uh, you know fall in love with horse racing, being a hockey guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, mean, I think growing up as a kid, Dan in Chicago, I used to uh, to go go to old Arlington Park in Chicago and. As a young kid, and then all of a sudden, you know, I turned professional when I was 18, and then a couple of the guys on the team liked to partake in the uh, wagering aspect of uh, playing the horses, and I've been hooked ever since. And for me, it's always been a passion of mine. I mean, back in 94, when I was a member of the New York Rangers and we won the Stanley Cup, that following fall, there was a work stoppage. So I wasn't playing because we weren't allowed to, to play hockey. So the people over at the Meadowlands Racetrack, uh, who I, where I brought the Stanley Cup uh, to celebrate uh, both the Meadowlands and Belmont, they said, hey, you're, you're a horse racing guy and uh, you like the handicap, so why don't you come and work at the track for four months? So during the work stoppage of uh, the 94-95 season, I, uh, I moonlighted uh, as a mm-hmm. handicapper at the Meadowlands Racetrack for three months and uh, finally got the opportunity. And my boss, Sam Flood, gave me an opportunity a couple of years ago to get on the horse racing uh, team here at NBC, and uh, it's been uh, just a tremendous honor. It's a great passion of mine. So I've been playing the horses for uh, a long, long time. You got the favorite, Nyquist, named after the Red Wings' Gustav Nyquist. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, now, he's aware of this, right? Did, but he didn't, <laughs> he didn't, did he have to sign off on them using his name? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, Nyquist uh, and the owner, uh, Mr. Redham, Paul Redham, is a Windsor, Ontario native right across the border from Detroit and obviously a big Red Wing fan. And he has named yeah, like six, seven horses that he's had. I mean, Datsuk, Zetterberg, I mean, some pretty good horses. And <laughs> this one here, he names Nyquist and, uh, and obviously pretty good hockey players, I should add. And uh, But the four-legged uh, Nyquist is uh, probably a little bit better than a two-legged <laughs> hockey player. And he's a, and, and he's a perfect seven for seven. Uh, that being Nyquist, and uh, he is the favorite tomorrow for the run for the Roses. All right. Well, you're not going to just take the favorite. You're going to trifecta, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to do what I did a couple of years ago, Dan, on, uh, on our hockey coverage when uh, my great Hall of Fame partner, Doc Emmerich, set me up, and uh, we gave out, uh, I think, a $24,000 superfecta. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, you know, over the course of the weekend, and so hopefully for somebody that might be playing the ponies, mm-hmm. uh, hopefully make them a little bit of money. So for me, for the Derby tomorrow, uh, I, I do believe you got to use Nyquist. Uh, he's done nothing wrong. Uh, I do believe Dan is that there's a little bit more of uh, a pace in this race than maybe people are leading on to be. So look, these horses are going a mile and a quarter for the first time in their lives. The three-year-old horses are going to be in front of 150,000 people for the first time and maybe for the last time. So how are they going to, you know, to react to it? So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use a couple of horses. I'm going to use Nyquist. I'm going to use a horse called by the name of Mo Tom, who is owned by Tom Benson, the owner of the New Orleans Saints. I'm going to use Gunrunner, uh, the five horse, and uh, I'm also going to use Exaggerator. And I'm going to use uh, more spirits. I'm going to box up four or five horses nice. and uh, and try to hope for the longest shot to come in. And uh, but I do believe Nyquist is the uh, Nyquist the horse is the uh, is the one to beat tomorrow. Uh, I know you're short on time. I'll leave you with this. Does the NHL playoffs have a Nyquist a favorite? Wow! Right now, I uh, right now I would probably lean towards. The Pittsburgh Penguins, just with the way that they've played and the way that they've been able to overcome and uh, endure some injuries, and, and uh, it's just been amazing. Look, I, 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 I believe I will be in Pittsburgh on Tuesday for a Game 6. I don't see the Capitals losing that Game 5 at home uh, tomorrow night. Uh, but to me, Pittsburgh, Tampa, and St. Louis are the three teams that I would look at right now as the, uh, the favorites in that order with, uh, with Pittsburgh. 
uh, St. Louis and Tampa. Thank you, Eddie. We appreciate it. Anytime, Dan. Always great to be with you. Thank you. That's uh, Eddie Olchek, NHL NBC analyst, also horse racing analyst, and uh, made some people some money a couple of years ago. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.